With computers getting so fast and powerful these days, it turns out that our hard drives are becoming a bottleneck in system performance. Thankfully, there's a new option for overcoming this problem, solid state drives, or also known as SSDs or flash drives. This raises a new question, should I switch to a much faster but more expensive flash drive, or can I stick with a slower but cheaper standard hard drive? How much faster are they? Well, today, we're gonna help answer that question with our hard drive versus flash drive showdown. Competitor number one is a previous generation MacBook Air with two gigs of RAM and a mere 1.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, but it comes with a built-in flash drive. Competitor number two is a newer MacBook Pro with four gigs of RAM, a more powerful two gigahertz Core i5 processor, but with a standard hard drive. Let's get this show on the road. Our first test is a cold boot with a couple of heavy duty login items like Photoshop and Illustrator, and we'll throw in Firefox there as well. Now, besides speed and cost, keep in mind that standard hard drives are also susceptible to the environment, meaning you have to treat them with greater care and mind their operating environment, such as moisture, dust, etc. Though not indestructible, flash drives airtight construction means they're less susceptible to these kinds of environmental concerns. Okay, the results are in. And look at that. The MacBook Air with the flash drive took 57 seconds to boot, while the more powerful MacBook Pro and its hard drive took 1 minute 21 seconds. Next up, duplication speed. Using identical files measuring just under one gig, we'll measure the time it takes for each drive to duplicate it. Wondering why flash drives are faster? Well, a traditional hard drive uses a magnetic head to read, write, and erase data to and from a set of spinning platters. Not only does this make hard drives more susceptible to damage, but their data can get fragmented over time, which can increase seek times and slow things down. Flash drives don't suffer from this quite as much since they use high-speed memory chipsets and have no moving parts. Okay, duplication times are in. This time, the flash drive took only 19 seconds, while the hard drive took 32 seconds. Zip files are next on the docket. We're measuring the time it takes to unzip a one gig file to see which has, well, more zip. See what I did there? Well, now hard drives may be slower, but they do offer more bang for the buck storage-wise. For example, you can buy a 500 gig hard drive for about $150 less than a 128 gig flash drive. As well, for processor intensive tasks like video editing or compressing files, a flash drive won't speed up your time and a fast processor is where you'll want to spend a little more. Okay, as you can see, this time the flash drive took 15 seconds to unzip the file, while the hard drive took 18 seconds, just about three seconds longer. So now the final tally, the hard drive in the more powerful MacBook Pro took a total of two minutes, 11 seconds to perform our tasks while the flash drive in the less powerful MacBook Air took 1 minute 31 seconds, a difference of 40 seconds, making the flash drive about 30% faster. When we're talking about seconds or a couple of minutes, it doesn't sound like much, but day after day, week after week, well, you get the picture. And so there you have it, a little insight into the hard drive versus flash drive question. My work is done here. 